take it away. What's up? Welcome to Rap Sesh. Vinyl Vixen. Slim Shetty. Here, doing things and stuff. Yeah, always. <laughs> Uh, this week we are doing kind of a rap tutorial, kind of a product review. Um, so this is going to be an episode that's good for other shops and installers. Um, you guys know in our shop we carry about 10 to 12 different brands of cast vehicle wrap film that we like to use. Um, however, we came into a situation where we had a customer that wanted a tech wrap color that was really, really cool. We don't carry tech wrap. Um, if you're unfamiliar, these kinds of brands like Tech Rack, Vivid, um, Tiny Bot, there's several of them. They're actually a calendared film. It's a polymeric blend calendared film. What that means to you as the end consumer or you as the shop is a calendar film does not stretch the same way that a cast material does. So the first disclaimer is that Calendar films aren't meant to wrap full cars. You need to kind of keep that in mind. They're not meant to do complex surfaces like bumpers, handles, mirrors, door jams. People do it. It's not necessarily it's, meant for but it. But not necessarily meant for it. Now, that's not to say you could pull off an awesome wrap with, with a different calendar film because that's what we did in this situation. Um, but there's some expectations that you need to manage with your client and we're going to give you guys some of our best tips and tricks on how to pull off a successful install using a calendared color change film. Um, so the product we're actually going to be featuring is TinyBot. This was our first time working with them. Um, they reached out to us, sent us some samples. They have some amazing colors. They have some pretty cool colors, and I'll tell you what. What I don't understand, can somebody answer this? Why is it that we can make such bitchin' colors in calendar, but not cast? <laughs> because calendar film, like, there's like holographic brush metal. Like, there's like crazy think, shade shift colors. I think because. But they can't do them in cast. I don't get it. I think because those crazy, like, holographic films and stuff just aren't meant to be made that way. I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't make films. Yeah, like, look but at I, these colors. But I feel like some of them just, like, it's not possible to make them as a cast film. I don't know. I'm don't not know. a scientist, but I would scientist. love if you guys could make this as cast film. So yeah. that's kind of the difference. Calendar, there's really spectacular colors, but like I said, there's other challenges that you're going to deal with when you do a calendar film as a full wrap. Yeah, like they don't make that in cast film. Nope. It doesn't happen. But so they're cast, cool. Cast is more conformable. Uh, Calendared is more meant for partial wraps. You could do a hood easily. You could do stripe kits easily. But when you're trying to do a full wrap, it's very, very difficult. So we have to kind of adapt our methods to um, make this film work. Now, um, the customer. Oh my gosh. Will you focus? Feel this one. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get through an episode here. It's like sandpaper. Okay. This is what the customer picked. Uh, it's. Uh, space gold green, really pretty green iridescent wrap. We wrapped a Mitsubishi Evolution, which we've done many times before in cast color change film. This was our first time doing a full wrap in calendared film. Mm -hmm. um, so, one thing you need to realize with this film, like I said, it doesn't stretch the same way as cast film. So you need to plan for that. So, I would not recommend wrapping a red car in this green color because it does not conform around corners and hold around edges the same way a cast film will. Corners were, were dif difficult, corners to say the least. Corners were, to say the least, they were, it was hard. It was very difficult to do corners, because it just, even though you can conform it, like it will conform if you really make it. It doesn't stay. But it doesn't stay. It, it pops it, back up. It has too much bounce back, and it just like always wants to lift. So yeah. you, even your straight edges sometimes, they'll try to curl on you. With, and the, calendar with film. the calendar films. And so sometimes you really have to take those extra precautions of, like we literally lamb stripped almost every single corner and every edge. Every edge. Just, just to, to make it. sure that it would stay down. And so that's, edge sealing. Yeah. That is kind of essential. If you're wrapping around the door edge, you need to put edge seal laminate tape on that back edge because this will not hold around the edge. Um, and like I said, if you strategize, if you put this on a black car or a green car, you'll probably be okay. If you put this on a red or a yellow car, it's gonna be really obvious that there's paint underneath because you can't get the same coverage that you can with cast. Yeah. So that's the first thing you need to remember. Um, the second part of installing with this film, it has a great air release. So it has the same type of air release as cast film. You don't, like it lays down really nice, but it is a higher tack. 
So I don't recommend full pulling films and uh, glassing out panels. It's pretty tacky. Yeah. yeah. Especially here because it is warmer here. Our Hot. shop is warm, but it is tacky film and it can create adhesive lines. Yes. So you want to do a roll down method or you want to have two people installing together, one person holding the film to keep tension, one person squeegeeing down. That's the cleanest way to do it without getting your glue lines and without just fighting the material. If you tried to if you tried to just full pull a hood with this by yourself, not gonna work. I no. mean you could get it, but it's You're gonna, gonna, gonna fight be it it's a gonna lot. it's gonna look like yeah. garbage afterwards. So treat it like the high tack material that it is. Yeah. Um, the next thing you need to know about this film is it doesn't do deep stretches or conformable things. So with the bumper, for example, the bumper we may have been able to do in two pieces in cast film. I think I did it in eight pieces in calendar film. So I have to break it down into a lot more pieces. However, it does seem very, very nicely if you can make a nice, clean, consistent overlapping seam, it disappears. And the reason why is because the backing is the same color. Yes. The adhesive. The adhesive is the same color as the actual film. Yeah. So you don't have a little white lip yeah. wherever you have a seam like Which you do with some Which is very nice. Films. Some films are have a white layer in between and it really is hard to seam. Yeah. It's hard to hide seams. It's hard to hide them. Yeah. This hides seams very well, but you need to incorporate more than you would than with a cast film. Um, so when in doubt, seam it out. Yeah. Um, last but not least, I feel like it's very, very important to post heat. You always need to post heat everything. You got to bake it down. Post -hesion. Uh We found that like even small, simple recesses and simple corners over a couple of days while the car was here, they wanted to pop up. So you need to do that edge sealing and all that extra post heating. You need to strategize your wrap based on your paint color versus what you're going for. And you need to treat it like a high tack when you install it. Yeah. Is that a good summary? Yeah. And yeah. post you post heat. Yeah. yeah. Really spectacular colors. And like I said, if you did this as single panels, a hood, a roof, you do this in a stripe kit, you do a cut design, it would work amazing. I personally do not recommend wrapping a full car in calendared film. It's not necessarily what it's meant for. You can make it but work. But we did it. You can make it work, but you need to plan for those things and you need to manage your customer's expectations. Um, last little thing is that uh, the warranty is going to be different for calendared films and based on your area and sun exposure. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't think there was any warranty here in Arizona for it. I think it was like a year. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not a lot. Um, so if we were doing calendared film and doing a color change, I would also probably require the customer to get a ceramic coating. For sure. Just to help. Just so. adds that extra year at least on it, you know, an yeah. extra two years. So if you guys are interested in trying out this film, like I said, they have amazing colors. You just need to know the limits of the film. Uh, you can reach out to them at tinybotvinyl.com or find them on Facebook and Instagram. Tell them Rapsef sent you. We hope you enjoyed our episode this week on how to tackle calendared color change wraps Whoopsh. featuring Tiny Bot Vinyl. Really spectacular colors, really cool guys in the company. Um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you dig the rap sesh vibe. <laughs> you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Rap Sesh AZ, and Vinyl Vista and Raps. And uh, we'll see you when we see you. Yeah. Sometimes Until soon. next time. Okay, bye. Thank you for coming again. Okay, bye. Have a wonderful time. Oh, that's a that heavy book. Thickness to it. <laughs> yeah.
You like that, Daddy. <laughs> oh my God.